I, I sort of see that on one level, we have a lot of workplaces that have good health and safety systems and we're plugging a gap around psychosocial safety. Where I think we'll get the biggest bang for buck is in those workplaces that are not blue collar, that, are, um, that, that don't see health and safety in that same way. Actually building those health and safety systems is really critical. And it's not just critical for your psychological health. You'll, you'll see massive benefits from mental health. So for us, you know, it's why we developed our Mind Your Head program, which is really about trying to do both of those things. You know, it is about giving people the language, workers in particular, the language to be able to talk to each other around psychosocial safety, to be able to recognise that you have a collective right to um, psychologically healthy work in the same way that you do physically healthy work, and that we actually have laws and systems that enable you to participate in decision-making around health and safety. And I think the, the key thing is recognising that health and safety is a shared decision-making process. It's not shared responsibility. Employers are responsible for it, but there is a shared decision-making process. So for us, I think what we want to see is, you know, increasing awareness amongst health and safety representatives of psychosocial um, hazards at the workplace. But more importantly, in those workplaces and sectors where health and safety systems don't exist, trying to help build them up and build them up around psychosocial safety. And so I think those are the two sort of competing um, demands on unions. And, you know, I think for me, in, in many respects, what this does is it really opens up health and safety to a much broader audience. So we are really trying to, um, you know, build out a campaign that makes people think about their psychological health in the same way that they do their physical health and that their rights to safe and healthy work um, are really fundamental to making sure that we can minimise the rate of mental health injuries and mental health conditions arising out of work.